Hey everyone, Sandra from Scraps of Beauty, and let's see, I need to move, there we go, fix the camera a little bit. Let me see if I'm going to bring you in. It is Sunday night. Let's see if I can move this in just a tad. There we go. Um, I have the autofocus on just for the beginning so that I can um, share some things before we get started. So if you're new to my channel, welcome. Um, this is just a live video. Um, Nick Dorothy. And I uh, just wanted to share a couple things. So if you're not interested in seeing Happy Mail or any of that stuff, there's probably going to be a long one. So I'd fast forward 15 minutes or so. Hi, Didi. If I remember, I will try to put it in the description to fast forward to the part you don't want to see. Hi, Linda. Joan. Welcome. Welcome, everyone. So I want to share um, what I did last week. So this was my um, Egyptian girl. You know, I've been working. Hi, Patty. Uh, Jane's um, art venture prompt. So I really like the way she came out. And I love her Tim Holtz earrings. You can see there. And her necklace. So the prompt was uh, Jewels of the Nile. And I don't think you can see the glitter. Yeah, you can see the glitter. Let me see if I can hold it up a little better. So that is the Paul Rubens. Let me see focus. Come on. There we go. The Paul Rubens glitter watercolor. So you can see it there. There we go. It's a little bit better. <laughs> anyway. Um, and then I wound up getting some new stamps, Egyptian stamps. I put that there. Hi, Nana. And then this was another one I finished, um, Painting in Provence. So this was actually Jane's Girl, you know, the one that I have, um, that she has her art prompts on. So I actually just cut this one out as I'm trying to catch up. So <laughs> it was the earrings. Yeah, they're pretty cool. So I wound up finishing that. I put the little paintbrush in her. And then I wanted to put, you know, Jane has her little, I don't know if you'll be even, I'll know it, but you guys probably will know it. So you know her new little art time paint oh where's my thing i wanted to put this like it's on her wrist <laughs> i mean i'll notice it but somebody else will be like what's that black thing on her on her wrist <laughs> so she's sporting her art time paint <laughs> uh let's see and then tonight we're going to do uh this next one is kenya kicking i think it is stick that over there so that's the one we're going to do tonight. And then this was the one we did last week. Remember, I couldn't, I didn't really like her face at all. But um, thanks, Dee Dee. Um, now you can see mostly everybody likes this girl here. <laughs> she did turn out better. I did wind up using uh, Jane's pastels, power pastels. And it looks a lot better. So the splotty. Oh, you like the dress. Yeah, that's Jane's dress. Yeah. And then let me see. Did I do any other one? Uh, this is my one for Spain. Oh. Autofocus. Um, this is one for Turkey. Can't really see that one, but I think I think that was all I did. Yeah. So I still have. Oh, and I did finish this one. You guys seen that with Patty's new um, stamps and then some of her scraps. So I'm going to move my camera over a little bit. So if you're just coming in, I do have some show and tell that I'm going to show first. There we go. It's a little bit better. So I have the autofocus on just because, and then I'll get into, um, we'll get into it. You love that one, the Egyptian one, I do too. So, and then I wanted to show you, remember a couple weeks ago we did, uh, let's see, we did this girl, the mermaid. So um, this what turned out to be my new sticker. So if you're in the shop, if you've got, um, these are the new stickers that I'm sending out. So it didn't come out good. So I wind up, there's a new little sticker there. Let me get it to focus. There we go. Nope. Come on. Ah. Oh, there it is. Quick. <laughs> so, so that's what you can do with your artwork. If this sticker company is really quick, um, so I forget what the name of it is, but if you ever want to let, you know, find out what it is, I can um, just message me and I can give you the name. They're pretty quick and they run sales all the time. So um, that's that. I did wind up getting, oops, happy mail from, um, I mean, girls, guys have seen this before. Oh, I don't have Janet's. Oh, I wanted to show Janet's uh, 
No, it's not here. Anyway, this is from Teresa Peterman. And she wound up giving me these cute little, cute little birds for my fairy garden. And you've all seen her beautiful quilt that she made. Oh, I had my little Janet made me a um, the M. Graham's watercolor. And her writing is so tiny. Oh, my gosh. I wanted to show you guys, but it came out really pretty. But um, I don't know what I'd do with it. I thought I had it in this envelope to show you, but it's not there. I'll have to show you guys another time. Uh, let's see what else. I wind up getting... Birds are cute, aren't they? So this is the new, well, it's not new, but um, if you guys follow Anna Victoria, she's a watercolor artist. I've been to her class before. Patty and I have actually been to her class in New York. And he, Paul Rubin has actually come out with glitter watercolor glitter paper. So unfortunately, you can only get it on AliExpress. I know a lot of people don't like to buy from AliExpress. I try to buy just from somebody who's not stealing from somebody else. <laughs> So I want you to see. Now it's going to be hard to show the glitter. Let's see if it'll. All right, come on. Focus. You know why? Because it's white. Let's see. We'll put this on there. There we go. Can you see all the glitter? It's already glittered, the watercolor paper. Come on. There we go. So there. Oh, that's a good show right there. So this is um, cold press, and then I'm waiting for the hot press. So it came in um, two different sizes. I Actually, it's three. I think there's a 5 by 7 then there's this one, 8 by 10 and then the bigger one. Hi, Julie. Mm -hmm. So I'm actually, so we're going to play with the with this paper next week. Uh, Jane, I'll have Jane's new stamp. She has six new stamps coming from Spellbinders. I'm hoping that they arrive by Saturday to put them in the shop. But we'll play with them on Sunday. So um, I hope she's going to show them this week. I think two of them are mermaids, of course. So, of course, I have to have those. Oh, and this is a bigger size. So this is just double the size of that. You can see it takes the whole screen. But the, I think there's three different kinds. There's a hot press, which I should be getting. This is a cold press. And there's a third one. I'm not sure what the third one is. But we'll test it out next week. Uh, let's see what else I got. Uh, I did get some new things for the shop. So if you are interested, I did get Prima. I think what I got. I got some Prima chipboard, flowers, a couple things. Anyway, they're in the shop. But um, the reason I wanted to show you these is because mm, not next week, but maybe the following week, the Dollar Tree had these cute little wood chip um, for Halloween, they've got like cats and uh, witches hats. So I only bought the pumpkins. So I bought the little pumpkins, wooden pumpkins, and you get five for a dollar, so which is good. And then I got the owls. So I thought we would um, put some finnabar, um, little metals, and make them like a steampunk little creature. So. So we'll probably do that in two weeks. But if you're interested in um, these are at the Dollar Tree. And so I thought um, these would be cute to put this chipboard if you cut this up and we can make some wings. So I'm going to be using this. I'm definitely going to use this. Uh, this is one of the new chipboards I have in the shop. So we can use the wings. So how cute would that be with the owl? There's the owl. We can cut these wings off and then put them on here. So it should be fun. And they're small, so we should be, I'm hoping to do three of them in one dream. So we'll see how that goes. So I've been getting out my medals and we'll, we'll play with that in, the, in a couple of weeks. So that's that. What else? So I have one other, two other things to show you. And then we'll get going and get crack a lacking. <laughs> Um, I also am hoping to do a Rolodex uh, series, so we'll see. I'm waiting probably till the middle of September for that. I did get this. Uh, hold on a second. Uh, this is from um, Andrea Gamal. She um, put out her new Oracle um, deck of cards. 
what's interesting the little owls will be cute it'll be like uh, finn's little birds but we'll do owls and uh pumpkins so i forget there's 48 cards but if you ordered early you got this extra bonus card <laughs> she was such in a tither because um when she had placed her order um during the COVID, she couldn't mail them out so eventually i think we ordered these way back in june i think and then finally, I think Kayla, uh, Kyla Givenhand, she asked Sandria, uh, she helped her out. And so they uh, were able to mail them to Kyla and then Kyla mailed them out to us. So, but I'll just go through these really quick. I like her little art. Look at that one with the owl. It's cute, isn't it? Let's go through these really quick. I'm right-handed, but when I deal deck of cards, I always have to do it left-handed. Isn't that weird? I don't know why that is. <laughs> Fire. This one's pretty. Water. Air. So it's just a nice deck for, you know, if you're kind of lost and you want to. I like her color combinations. Like, that's a pretty color combination. This one, Soul Sisters. The light, the mask, <laughs> this one's pretty too, the right brain, and then she also has the left brain. <laughs> Hi, Kimberly. Good to see you too. Goddess, dream, break three, free, Lucian, and then she has a couple of them that I can't really name. <laughs> figure out what the names are. I think she named them. This one's good. Cool, the compass. That one, abundance. Look at the little pig. Isn't it cute? <laughs> this one, denial. So maybe one day when we're, when I'm kind of stuck, we'll pull one of these cards out and do something with it. In the bedroom. This one's cute. The rainbow. To reach in. I like that one. This one's too pretty too with the deer. Lighthouse. Life experience. Meditation. Memorize. Mesmerizing. I like this one. Self confident. That one's cute. This one's a lion. This one should be for Eileen. Where she loves lions. Prepare. Time. Loyalty, oh, cute little pet. <laughs> Healing, guidance, symbolic. And then these are, I think these are girls' names. I don't really know what these, the last couple are. That one's cute. And then, so I don't know if these are somebody that I think she's from Germany, so I don't know if it's like German girls or I don't know. <laughs> um, Yule. So those are her cards. So she, I think she's still selling them now. So in case you're ever interested in, you know, what they kind of look like. So, and she is create creative creations. She's on Instagram, YouTube, Facebook. They are cute, aren't they? All right, and then let's see what else. Oh, I have. Um, so if you know Patty, um, not I guess a couple, maybe about a month ago, there was a guy who follows Patty, and um, I should have taken these out of the cellophane. Um, follows Patty and uses her stencils for um, his, some of his artwork. Let me take this out, and so. Uh, he had asked Patty, he sent Patty, if you guys were on Patty's stream, you saw the ones that he had sent. Um, hi, Christy. So he um, asked Patty if he could send, get my address because he also follows me and um, he can't always catch the lives, but um, he uh, loves the uh, mermaids just like I do. And so he wound up sending me two, two prints. Isn't this pretty? Can you see it up close? 
And Joan, he said, yours are on the way. So he, he's very sweet. He sent, I forget, three or four to Patty. He sent me two. And then he's sending Joan some too. So, so it's really, I love the mermaid's face there. Look at that. So beautiful, isn't it? And his name is, I'm going to show you. I really love the next one. Um, his name is, let me make sure I can get it to focus. There we go. The Art of John G. Molino. I hope I don't say, I pronounce that right. And he has a Flickr, uh, Flickr.com photo slash John Marino. <laughs> yes, he told me to tell you that, Joan, that yours are on the way. So um, it'll probably take a while because, you know, he's um, from Georgia. Yes, he's from Georgia. Uh -huh. He's from Savannah. Let me see. What did he say? He says, just a quick word about him. <coughs> He's a mixed media artist currently living in Savannah, Georgia, and he basically is a traditional artist. Uh, hold on, I'm trying to open up the other one. Um, he also likes playing around with digital art, 3D painting, Photoshop, um, and he put a lot. Of, uh, he doesn't put. A, he never puts much of his work online since it's. He always shows on a limited basis in galleries. And I guess you can't really do that, but oh my God, this is my favorite right here. <coughs> you see this one? It's pretty long, so I'm gonna have to cough. Hold on a second. <coughs> I'll have to put you guys on mute. Hold on. <coughs> oh my gosh, I'm coughing. <laughs> Hold on. Where is my mute? <coughs> <coughs> Shoot, I can't find it. Microphone. Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> Guys are <was> joking. <laughs> <coughs> But can you see there's the three mermaids? I'm um, let's see if I can I'm gonna have to hold it this way because it's just not gonna fit in there. Can you see her? Isn't she pretty? There's that one. Uh let's see. This one and then one at the bottom. I was hoping Eileen was here because Eileen does a lot of digital, so this looks really there you go. <coughs> Hi Joyce. <coughs> oh, I'm sorry. Damn. Jimmy cooked some fish, and I think it's getting to me. <laughs> uh, <coughs> <coughs> sorry. Um, so thank you, John, for sending me those. I'm sure Joan will, she doesn't stream, but um, I'm sure she'll let Patty or myself know. So again, that's John Molino. Uh, hold on. Can I focus it? Come on. I have some. <coughs> oh, goodness. Focus. Come on. I'm so close up here. Oh, it's so annoying. <coughs> oh, I'm sorry about the cough. It, it, it never fails. As soon as you get on stream, that's usually what happens. There we go. There we go. So is Kathy Arbor here yet? Hi, Kathy Burke. I'm waiting for Kathy Arbor because um, I also have something to share. So if she comes on, I'll take a break because I told her I would share um, the fairy books that we got. So, all right, hopefully that whew, is done with the, the coughing. <laughs> so thank you, John, again, if you're watching recording, appreciate it very much and I'm sure Joan will too all right and if you go to Hobby Lobby they have a lot of their everyone always asks me where I get my medals um, so they have a lot on clearance and anybody who's doing Rosemary's uh, Native American book next month they had quite a few um, quite a few of that uh, charms and you can see this is like $6.99 and I was on clearance for $1.74 
so I wound up getting, I thought we could use these wings for the owl. I got these cute little masks so that I can put them on my girls in the book. I wound up getting <clears throat> the cute little camel because Art by Marlene's got the Arabian Nights or something coming in, coming up in September. So, so yeah, so if you're in, in Hobby Lobby, check out their jewels. They have a lot of jewelry um, charms and stuff on clearance this week. All right, so that's it to have that. I think, I think that was all I had to share with you guys. So, aren't those paintings beautiful? I can't get over that he was nice enough even to, like, send them with the... Uh, a frame so hi colleen i was just talking about uh hobby lobby like they even had these um these were on clearance but they were 50 off for your little doors so aren't they cute with the little tiny handles so if you go to hobby lobby they got these cute little handles i'm trying to think what else um i think that's about it so <clears throat> like i said if kathy arper comes i will share she wants me to show the fairy book, so I will do that if she comes on. If not, I'll do it at the end, and this way she can watch the recording. <clears throat> yes, it would be perfect for your door journal. Yep, absolutely. I have a um, a, do a door die. As soon as I could find it, I'll probably send some for you and Kathy and uh, Eileen. Eileen's been dying for some doors. <laughs> All right, so so this prompt that we're doing is number 15, and this is number Kenya High Kicks. So my idea was just to do, I'm not going to do a whole page because I'm trying to catch up. <laughs> so I'm just going to do kind of a sunset background with, um, and then I thought we would, I took Dee Dee's idea and took the uh, tissue paper and put them on a piece of chipboard, not chipboard, cardstock so that we can um, place these where we want. I'm going to make this into a zebra. I thought we could put the giraffe in here. <clears throat> I know they don't have a leopard, but I think I'm just going to turn this into a lion, so we'll see what happens with that. And then I thought the zebra would go here. So we will do some. Oh, let me take the autofocus off now while we're done. Hobby Lobby Craft. Yeah, John's in the UK. <clears throat> Uh, let's see. Let me get the autofocus off for you guys. Yeah, I'm super excited because Jane's new stamps are coming out uh, next week. I'll have mine Tuesday. They're shipping Thursday, so I'm pretty sure I'll have them. I'll definitely have them for next week. Um, and then we'll play, uh, we'll play with that and the new watercolor, the glitter watercolor. Hi, Jane. <clears throat> Welcome, anybody new. So I think that's what we're going to do. We're just going to do a lot, and then I'm going to put some big trees. Some, I took a, uh, you know, a big African, uh, like when you look in the uh, safari, they've got those big, tall trees. So I thought we would do something like that. So let's do that. So let me get those out first. Oh, Didi, how do you like your pen? Oh, my gosh, I love my pen. So Dee Dee wind up getting Jane's, um, let's see, I keep this on my desk because it's just so pretty. Um, and then I'm dying for her paints. So my paints, she's got some new paints. They're like a, kind of like a gouache, I guess, which I never used gouache before. And uh, they just landed in San Francisco. So if we have those by the end of the week, uh, we'll play with those. All right, so let me just spritz this. So I'm going to do kind of a sunset. So we'll do yellow and orange and then <clears throat> kind of like a deserty scene, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I hate when I get those coughing attacks. <laughs> All right. So I'm just going to spritz my paper here. I just want to keep it in the middle. I really don't want like to do a whole giant scene. Oh, let's see. So I'm going to mix. Oh, you can't see. <clears throat> so first I'm going to mix some um, yellow. 
and then some of this beige. This one is sand or buff. So I want the background to be kind of um, like a sunset orange sunset type thing. So we'll see, there we go. And I'm hoping her back is a lot better. She hurt her back, and so she's kind of like in in pain. She's going to wind up getting a ruptured disc. All right, so let's see. <clears throat> oh, and the quarter. And then on this, I'm going to put a dark orange kind of color. So that would be vitamin C that Jane has here. Just to mix that in. And then I think <clears throat> towards the bottom, I don't know if it's grassy there or more sandy there. What do you think? I didn't really pull up a picture. So I'm just going to go with in here, kind of like a deserty thing. I was watching Lena too. If you guys haven't seen Lena, um, I love the way that she. So there we go. She painted, and she was talking about um, a guy who, <clears throat> when he does his washes, he doesn't do the wash so it comes straight down. He does the wash so it goes up. I thought that was a pretty cool technique. So I really like that. All right, so we're gonna have to dry this. So I'm gonna get my heat gun out. So Just prepare your ears. <laughs> heat gun. But to remember, we went about we got 20 minutes for Happy Mail, so I'll just try to remember to put that in the description. Because I know some people don't like to listen to chit chat they just want to get on with it <laughs> oh thank you christy yeah this is jane's watercolor palette her neutrals so it's um i use the sand the buff and then the vitamin c And then the brown one is a spice. All right, so kind of dry. So what I want to do is build those big trees, and I really need to get my phones. One second, because I did take a um, picture off Pinterest so I could see uh, the kind of tree draw. Hold on, I've got a couple things. Hold on one second. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> Hi, CB. <clears throat> All right, so let's see. Uh, to get So these are, I don't know what you kind of trees you call these, but this is kind of what I'm going for. I'm going to put that right here in the, in the front there so I kind of know what I want to draw. So this is Jane's new little pouch. Isn't this cute? It's to keep your baby wipes or pencils or whatever you want. So let me take out one of these. They sold out quick on her site. You know, I think almost everything on her site sells out quick. 
<clears throat> All right. So I'm going to take a pencil. Do I want a pencil? I'm going to take this gray one. This one is Jane's, uh, Jane's gray. So we want to, let's see. It's got the cute little elephants here, but I want to put them, them all here. So I think I'm going to, let's see. I come up here. So I'm just going to roughly sketch it in. You can see what I'm doing. <clears throat> Still kind of wet up there. And then this part will do all the greenery. I guess this is green. And then let's see. And that. Okay. I'll put a couple of them down here. There's Eileen. You have to go back and look at my um, off the show to you. The guy that sent uh, Patty uh, digital. Um, Artwork, he sent me to Mermaid. I'll have to go back and look. So I'm just going to lightly put these in. And we'll put some bushes because the elephant and all that will probably cover a lot of this up anyway. So we'll see. Oh, yeah, I'll show them it really. Oh, oh, I put them on the other side. I'll show them towards the end. I'll show them again. <clears throat> it was really generous. And he said he was sending Joan some too. So there's some bushes in here. So it's just kind of rough. Like I said, most of the animals are going to cover this anyway. So, <clears throat> all right. Oh, let me put that back. All right, so let's, uh, let's see. Yeah, and I'm going to send you, I have a, do, a door die, and as soon as I find it, I'll send you guys uh, one or two. Um, <clears throat> it's just a screen. I think it's a screen. It's a door, and then you can put, like, a screen behind it so it looks like a screen door. So when I get a chance, I, I'll do that this week sometime. I did send out, um, I sent you some of those scraps that I won last week. So hopefully you'll get some of that. So I'm just going over what I just did. And then I'm just doing really rough. As you could saw, see, I was just really just scribbling. Because we just want to get these in. And I'll go in here with some. I'm going to just go in with a little bit of darker brown here. Oh, you're welcome. Yeah, let me know when you get it. I picked out all the green ones for you, Eileen. So <laughs> I wind up sending, I think CB, you've got some coming in your package. Um, 
I think I sent some to Lena. I can't remember who. I just picked a whole bunch out and just there's never I'm never gonna use all of those scraps. So all right, so there's our first little tree. <clears throat> you love scraps? <laughs> That's good. So you missed it. I was showing in the beginning, um, not next week. Next week, I'm going to do Jane's new stamps that are coming out. Um, and hopefully the glitter paper will work on that. And if I ever new paints. But um, I wound up getting from the Dollar Tree um, little wooden owls so that we can do, um, like we did Dee Dee's cat, um, do little steampunk owls. So I'm going to use um, Antonio's, um, his paste. I haven't used that yet. Have you used it? Just wondering how hard it is to, uh, yeah, I don't really want that one there. I don't really want that one there. Yes, you love it? Oh, good. Yes, yeah, so we'll play with that. I haven't, I haven't used that yet, so... All right, so there is kind of our trees. <laughs> <coughs> I know, up the, excuse my coughing. Of course, I had the coughing if it when I came right on. It was terrible. All right, so in here I'm going to put the bushes, but I need um, one all green. So I'm going to come in here with some bush kind of tree kind of colors. I actually probably should use a fan brush. Let me see if I have one of those. Awesome. Painting a little shed. Oh, you did? Oh, that's nice, Kimberly. <laughs> I'll put a little bit of darker green. Let me see. Some dark green. I don't know if these up here are like brownish or green. It's only a black and white picture, but. I still have about four, I think about four to catch up on. I think I have like three in the way beginning and then a couple in the, um, I, I don't know what. Um, I hope that Picole will be fine with these storms. Oh, she's in the golf. Hi, Kathy. Oh, after I do this, I'm going to show the books. I was waiting for you to come. You'll have to go. Um. And see in the beginning of the video, though, um, the guy, John Molino, who actually uh, gave Patty um, some prints. He gave me some mermaid prints. You'll have to go back and look. There we go. Oh, I hope she does check in. Yeah. Scary the storms. Even my girlfriend, she's in Colorado, and the fire was, she says she's got like soot all over her car. Um, so that's pretty bad. So I don't know. So what do you think we should do with the top of these? I don't know if I should do them green or kind of more brownish. You can chat now. What project were you doing, Patty? <laughs> I almost think I want to do. Hmm. 
because we're going to be putting these here in the background. So let me see. <coughs> and that one's going to go there like that. All right. So, so what color? What color? Help me. What color should we paint these? I don't know if I should do them brown or green or reddish. Large page of collage in your journal. Oh, first one you've ever completed, and you do not like the last page at all. Oh, no. So you finished that book? That's good. Green. Okay. I'll go with green. Um, let me go with my other brush. Do I have a fan brush? Yes, I do. All right, so let's mix up. Let's see what we got here. So let's see what we got. That's pretty good. We need a fan brush. Yes, you do. It's great for the trees and grass and all kinds of stuff. There we go. Your fan brush. Oh, it's for magicals only. <laughs> now I saw they came out with new glitter. Is it new glitter magicals? I think I saw Laura. Was it Laura who's using? I think Laura was using Jersey Laura. Um, so is the actual glitter the um, the new magicals? I haven't seen them. There we go. And it's quick and easy, so I mean they're not the greatest trees, but you know, I'm not doing a masterpiece. So <laughs> can't we see the bows there if you decorate the oh the potting shed. Oh Vicky, um Kimberly, yeah. All right, let's um put this over here. So let's try this. So heat gun. It looks like a masterpiece. Thanks. <laughs> it's all right. If it's glitter, you don't need them. <laughs> well, then you won't like Paul Rubens glitter paper. I think that's going to be really nice. All right, so it's still a little on the wet side. But what we're going to do is add these animals on here now. So I need a piece of paper, scrap paper. Let's glue these on. Glue stick. There it is. Nope, you're not into glitter. <laughs> I love glitter. <laughs> yeah, I was happy to get the paper. So I can't wait to try it. Because so I got it in both hot and cold press.
That one, I have the hippo. So this hippo I actually took out of Jane's um, Women's Whimsical and Wild book. So I just traced it on tissue paper. Um, Buy journals, what? <laughs> journals are for learning and always being the ones you don't care for. <laughs> It's all about learning and enjoying. Oh my gosh, Kathy, I turned into your, um, so if you didn't see Kathy, Kathy Cass here on <laughs> YouTube, she was doing, um, when I first turned into it, I'm like, oh my gosh, she's doing squish vegetables. <laughs> but she was taking um, leaves and stuff and making little creatures uh, from them. <laughs> it was funny. I think I turned in you had the, the leaves and the and the toes from your uh, carrot. <laughs> funny. Mm. I'm waiting for her to do her squish mermaids is what I want to see next. All right, so we have that. This one's gonna need a little bit more. You love her carrots? Oh my gosh, they were so funny with the toes. They look like toes. I can't believe those are real carrots. <laughs> it's eating the tree on this one, yeah. <laughs> All right, so we got that. And then I think it was, oh, this is not staying too well. I think I'm going to put the little giraffe here. Uh, taking advantage of your scanner. <laughs> uh, what else do we have? Now I have the zebra. I'm thinking if I put the zebra, where can I put him so that he's not covering? We don't want to cover our whole scene. You know what I mean? Maybe I'll just put those three on there and put him right by the the tree. Hi, Amalia. Um, I don't know. What do you think? I think I'm just going to put just the three of them on there. I'll stick this one. <coughs> oh, gosh. I'm going to start that again. Just popping in to say... Uh, I am in the middle of painting in the front door. Oh, hi. Hi, Norma. Oh, my gosh. We miss you so much. Thanks for popping in. Good to hear from you. All right. So I have this here. I'm taking a water break. Oh, that's for sure. Good. <laughs> we miss you. Oh, you missed this too. That's good. At least you're keeping busy and safe, I hope. So that's good. All right. So we have that done. I think I'm going to use, and I'll have these in the store. What did I do with them now? Oh, there they are. Hold on. Did I draw these? No, this is a stamp. Um, I This is Jane's um, stamp. I did add on to the ear and that, and then that's a stamp. And then this is hers from her Whimsical and Wild. I didn't draw them. I did draw the background. I mean, the trees. <laughs> that I did, but not the animals. Hold on. I think I'm going to use this stitching that I have on the floor. Uh, what journal am I using? This is Jane's journal. 
her uh, her watercolor journal. I think this one I have it upside down. <laughs> so I, yeah, I did it. Can you see? There it says her name, Jean. Um, but I, li I like this paper. So, let's see. I might put the stitching in there. Let's see. add something else to it let's just see what it looks like I'm gonna cut these out separate they ever cough like that at all as soon as I get on stream it's like someone said it's because you're looking down so much like constantly looking down and it's like the dripping just goes down into your throat I don't know <laughs> all right let's see so I'm thinking if we just add it here and then here I'm gonna do that do something different there. Uh, your sister watching Jersey, all her creepy things for her Halloween journal. Oh, I haven't seen that. <laughs> She's doing Halloween. I don't know what they, they canceled the uh, the mermaid parade here. They canceled the uh, the zombie walk, so we didn't get that this year. Not so creepy. <laughs> It wasn't creepy. Is she doing like the creepy baby, like uh, like Brooke? <laughs> uh, the creepiest thing she is has a, oh, it's a cute little witch. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna put this down. All right, so let's paint these. And you have to be still a little careful because it's just tissue. Like I wind up ripping this over here on this side. So let's, um, they're both gray, which is nice. So let's do that and get some gray out here. I think I'm gonna use this. I love this of um, April. If you know her, the little creative me, this is her Renaissance, The uh, her paint's gray. I really like that color. It's kind of like a bluish black. I like it. So we'll do that both. Halloween's not big over there. I don't think we'll have Halloween here this year. So see how this goes because this is just tissue paper so I don't know how well it's going to take this um just watercolor it's just like soaking right in I need a bigger brush At least it'll look crinkly, like his skin will look crinkly <laughs> from the tissue paper. I 
That's a bit silly. Hi, Candy. Uh -huh. How are you? I'm going to put a little bit of pink on your cheeks. I know you don't have cheek. I mean, cheeks, but... <laughs> And the inside of the mouth, I think, is pretty pink. I'm going to have to come over with some colored pencils maybe later. Kind of wrinkly skin. <laughs> oh, it's just talking about you, April. It's just talking about your little uh, paint gray here, which I love. <laughs> I saw um, Lindsay, the frugal crafter, had uh, showed April's um, watercolor triad set that she has in her shop. So hopefully I'll try to that one day too. Did you just give the hippo pink cheeks? Yes, I did, CB. <laughs> yes, I did. It needs pink cheeks, don't you think? <laughs> They look cute. Looks much better with that. So it's kind of a bluish tint to it, but I like it. I like it a lot. And that's uh, her paint gray. I don't have the autofocus on now, but you can see. That's her paint gray. All right, so let's do the same to the elephant. You like the hippo shame? Thank you, Joyce. <laughs> Did you get your package yet? I was just wondering. Just trying to cover up that hole that I have there. It looks all crinkly. That's the napkin, so it looks cute. One updates filing back. Oh, you're back. Oh my gosh, Colleen. Mm -hmm. You love April's paint? Yeah, me too, Payne's Gray. Um, Cece, she loves that too, Payne's Gray. Um, so let's do this. So it's pretty quick and easy this one because I didn't have to really draw anything <laughs> that was great about stamps <laughs> been a punching fool <laughs> that's good I've got something um, for the uh, memory decks uh, coming and probably in the middle of September we'll do it but I think it'll be, I think it'll be fun. Oh, well, thanks, Colleen. <laughs> So I'll have to do, I wonder if I could do a little, you could probably see this um, online, but I'll do a little sneak peek. I know Jane will be showing it. I'm sure she's going to show it this week. So let's see if I can find it really quick. Oh, here, wait a minute. I'll just show you one. One of them. <laughs> you see that there? 
that's one of her new stamps. So we will play with those next week. I can't wait to get them. <laughs> Oh, she got the new uh, memory decks punch. I'm looking for one of those flat ones, um, like Kathy Arbor got. I mean, Kathy Burke. I want one without the sides on it. Of course, we got to put a little, little pink on this one, too. Do I have her layer cakes? Uh, her new paints? They're coming. They just landed in San Francisco yesterday. So um, hopefully I'll have them here next week to play with. But I showed the watercolor paper. Um, did you see my... Um, my Instagram about the watercolor paper, the Paul Rubens uh, glitter water paper. It's cute. And while that dries, I will, um, I'll show it to you. Let me get that to dry a little bit. You have an old Heidi Swap one. Yeah, I want to um, do some stuff with the memory deck. So um, I have a, I don't have, she had two. She has the roll. I have the roller one of hers, but she also had one that was in a box, I think. So. Yeah, the only problem is you can only get this on um, AliExpress. So, and I don't have the autofocus on now, so you might, yeah, there you go. You can see it? Look at that. And all that glitter. <laughs> Hi, Kathy. How are you? Yeah, this is a new, uh, well, his, I think it's his new watercolor paper. It's already glittered. So, and I rubbed it on here and it doesn't come off on your finger. So I'm hoping when I put the watercolor on there, <coughs> when we play next week, we'll see how it goes. All right. So we just have to finish our little giraffe. And then I want to show Kathy, uh, the mermaid, not mermaid, the fairy. I promised Kathy I would show the fairy books. So if you're not interested in that, you don't have to stick around. Mm, more yellow. Of course, we'll have to give her a little pink cheek. There we go. You want to make a rectangle box, too, oh, for the Rolodex, yeah. I'm thinking if we took, um, if we could make our own, if we took um, chopsticks and then put them, I'm going to try that this week, um, put them down and make our own little box. So, oh, we miss you, too, Kathy. We have to let that dry, and then we put the brown spots in there. So, so I like that. Anything else we need to do on this? Let's see. I'll put a little more gray on here. I really like that one. <laughs> Cute. All right, so pretty much done. I'm just going to have to wait till this dries, and then I'll go back in with the brown. Um, spots for the giraffe and then oh i have to do my little mark oh i have some of this have you ever got guys use this as flower soft let's put some of this on here maybe we'll do it just for the bushes we'll do that and then i'll go get my little books 
So let's see. Let's see how this works. I could have put it on the trees, but I don't want to put it on everything. So we'll just do it on the bottom. You have this? I love this. I have to use it for my um, for snow. I have it in this weight, and I haven't used it in such a long time. And I was like, well, let me see if I, I'll put some of this on. Let's see. Let me wipe this off before it gets all over. Oh, yeah, that looks cute. We'll put that on here. You've been using flower soft for years, have you, Joan? I like it a lot. We'll just do it on the bottom. We'll put it on all the trees. We can put it on our little giraffe, like he's sitting in the in the bushes. I should have, I have one in a darker color too. I'll have to maybe mix the two. It goes a long way. It's really packed in there tight. So you think that you're like used a lot and you don't really use that much at all. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Kathy. All right. I just want to pat that down a little. I'm not going to get a paper. See how cute that looks? Gives a little dimension there. I'll put the rest of this back. There we go. Oh, let's see. Thanks, Colleen. Oh my gosh, I was in love with your tour, Colleen. I was like, oh my gosh, I love to have a space. <laughs> I think my husband wanted me to turn it off. He's like, is that girl still going on? I think it was like almost, what, an hour? And I'm like, yeah, she's got a really big spot. <laughs> oh, oh, thank Kathy. These are just stamps. These are Jane's stamps. So, all right. So, so I'm going to call it done. What we need to do is do a passport here. I always do like some type of passport uh since this is an art venture and it's supposed to be like traveling uh so let's see let's do hmm, I guess green maybe i'll do a little passport here So this one, um, I'll find something. I usually put something in the middle, but for now, I'm just going to put the, so let's see what number this is. I think it's 15. This 
is 15. So I'm just put a little. <laughs> 15. Um, this one is Kenya. And then I usually find something in the middle I'll put in there. Oh, maybe I'll put, I don't know what I'll put in there. We'll see. All right. So not too bad. I love the trees. They turned out really good with the fan brush. You can see that there. Not too bad. And then there's a little flower soft there. So I'm going to show um, some fairy books that I got because Kathy wanted to see them. I'll bring back the... Um, the prints, so those of you who missed it in the beginning can see it real quick. So if you're not interested in seeing that, thanks for watching. Okay, Nora, thank you. <laughs> Second coat. Um, so thanks for watching, and if you're going to stick around, great. Hold on a second. I'm going to go get those. Hold on. Okay. So I'm going to put this away. Put this over here to dry. So I'll show the prints really quick from John. So this is the one print here. You can see that there. So Eileen, he does a lot of digital work now, I guess. And so I always think of you when you're when I show any type of digital because Eileen is so good at digital. There we go. Thanks, CB. So that's that one. My favorite though is this one. So this one you can see here. Thanks, Eileen. It did. Yeah, aren't they great? He's really good. The way he did that, I love that. I guess this one's hard to show because I really have to show it like this. And it was so nice that he sent them already framed, so I just have to put them in a frame. You can see that there. So, yeah, John Molino. So, if you guys ever get to see his flicker, I'll do that again. So it's, uh, it's www.flickr. It's f l i c k r. dot com slash photos slash John Molino M O L I N O. So check him out. All right. So this is Kathy and I. We love besides mermaids, fairies. <laughs> so Kathy was showing her um, her fairies, her squish fairies, and then uh, was it last? Not this week, although the week before, I think. This is the book you showed, right, Kathy? Thanks, Joan. I think this is the one you have. So when I saw this, I was like, oh, my gosh, I have to get it. So I usually go to abebooks.com. And so each one of these books was less than $5. So <laughs> I did. And this one comes, did yours come? This is a poster. You take this thing out, and this actually becomes a poster, glow-in-the-dark dark poster. Is that the one that you have with the poster? You see, this one says full-size glow-in-the-dark poster. Oh, so this is the one you have, yes. <laughs> Eight books is awesome. It is. So then you can see. So it has, um, it's huge. I, ha I can't really open it all the way up. But can you see that? See can. I love this one. That one looks like a little fairy type thing. Yeah, I get a lot of my books off of there. Um it's there. Can you see? Let's see if I can open it. It's got all these cool little bugs. Oh my gosh, I love that. You see that? So it's gl glow in the dark. <clears throat> it's so cool. So there's that one. Yeah, and every time I get it, I don't usually get it with everything like Oh, usually the jacket's missing or, um, <clears throat> hi, Peg. <laughs> you love the bugs? So you like Eileen then. <laughs> yeah. 
So this one, I'll show this one really quick. It's even got the bugs in here in this. Can you see that? <coughs> so I'll just go through this one really quick. I'm, so, I'm pretty sure this was like either 3 or $4, though. So. You have to see if yours has that. Yeah, because it's cool. <laughs> There's that. I'm just going to go through the pages really quick. But I love, look at the, the wings and stuff on this one for the little creatures. And it's got all these different bugs in here. So if you like bugs, <laughs> this is a cool little book. For inspiration, I love those. Look at that on the dark wet paper. That one cute too. This one I love. That's probably my favorite. That one there. <coughs> There's that. This one cute. <laughs> Proper nutrition for yours. <laughs> There's another one. A couple more. That looks like a little asparagus guy. <laughs> yeah. And I love the uh, little expressions. How many moods of your Sprite? <laughs> They're so cute. I love that one. So that's this little book. So, yeah. So if you go look for it, make sure you get the well, the dust jacket that's got the poster. Because this one's got the poster. So that was that. So that started me off because Kathy had that. And so I was like, oh, my gosh, I got to have that book. <laughs> Then I saw this. I think this was only like, I don't forget, two or three dollars on a book. So I was like, oh, I'll just try it. So it's actually a little notebook that you could keep little notes. And someone actually wrote in this. So let's see. So it's it's like a little mini journal type thing. You know, you can write your own little things in there. So see, things I can see but I know are there. <laughs> it's a little cute little little journal. Well, it's got a lot of blank pages, but I love like this, the different artwork in there. I can see that there, the dragon. Talks about dragons. Then you can draw your own. Whoever had this book actually drew some before. Uh, so let's see. Let's see here. <laughs> he made his own little creature. It looks like a little raccoon creature. <laughs> and he called it, did he have put a name? It is... Alteract, alteract, it's partial, it's a try. I don't know what he said there. <laughs> it's a narkel and evergreen, I don't know. He named it there anyway, but he wrote in the book, <laughs> whoever owned this book. I think that's the only spot. But you can fool around. Oh, here's one. The good tasting foam. foam. <laughs> and then, uh, let's see, things a goblin might use for teeth, jewelry, glass, bones. <laughs> On the, uh, I don't know what that is. Knives, scissors. <laughs> oh, you gave this one to, oh, to your granddaughter, did you? Oh my gosh, yeah, it's so cool. They actually like, I love that. Look, see that one, the little, just the artwork in here, the sketching, the little sketches. So it's cute. Like I said, for three bucks or four bucks, whatever I paid for it, it was, it was well worth it. And it's pretty thick. It's, it's a pretty thick book. So there's that one. Oh, that one down there. Then do you have this one, Kathy? This one was Art's Field Guy uh, to the Fantas, Fantas, Fanticus, oh my gosh, Fantas, fat, Fantastical. Oh my gosh, can't get the word out. <laughs> World around you. This one, do you have this one? And so there's all of this cute little faces on here. Look at that one. No, you don't have this one. So there's that. It's got letters and light. It's a cute little things to sketch, like all that. They're just sketching ideas around the flower, the yard. Oh, how cute! It's a little dust, dust uh, thing with feathers. <laughs> I love their little faces. Can you see their faces there? So cute. <laughs> okay, Patty. Talk to you later. <laughs> May do. Oh, okay. Bit later, okay. Then there's this one, I like this guy, and <laughs> sneaking something. <laughs> so I'm just flipping through really quick. Field pixie, 
where to get these books off they're off of abe it's abebooks.com and they're very inexpensive i want to say four or five dollars and sometimes you get free shipping uh, or maybe you might have to pay three dollars shipping so it might cost you like seven seven dollars but it's oh they're all under ten dollars so that i can tell you um but yeah i love going on that like look at this <laughs> look kathy <laughs> That's your little weeds. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love that little porcupine guy. And then this is this has like a pullout. It's, I guess it's like a pullout. It's got where you flip out. See that? You can flip it out. There's a couple of pages like that in here where it's like big posters. I love her with the big dragonfly wings. Can you see that? The glare's on there. There's that one. This one. I mean, I just love the artwork on there. You spent too much on Amazon. <laughs> Hi, Tanya. <laughs> well, good sweet. You can always put it in your cart. And they're only, like I said, it's all under $10. And this, sometimes you get free shipping. And sometimes the shipping's like 3 bucks. Because they're all from thrift stores usually. Here's another one. See? Oh, here's that big poster. So there's a poster there. Hi, Suzanne. See that one there? <laughs> they have this type of book also for dragons. Oh, really? It's cool. The one I have underneath here is the best, though. It's one that Paula likes because it's got all the little secret pockets. Oh, here's another one. So there's three of those on here. Oh, look at that one. Let's see that there. There's that. I love this one. You see that one there? Like a little seahorse. <laughs> sea maid. Sea king. There's another one too. There's that one. It's a pretty thick book. Oh, here's another one. Wow, they've got, oh, this one's a double pager. Look at that. <laughs> double. Double trouble. Can you see that there? Look at that. Wow. I haven't even had a chance to really look through these. Look at that one. The River Troll. Can you see that one there? The River Troll. There's that one. Different trolls. Yeah, I got this off of A Books. There's another one. Look at this one. It's like a steampunk, steampunk uh, grasshopper. Yeah, all from a children's series. Yeah. Mm -hmm, a giant. Goblins. <laughs> oh, you can't see the glare. Sorry. This one with the crayons. Look, Holden's crayons. <laughs> You can show the cover again? Yes, I will. I'll show the cover. Yes. It's this one here. This one is just uh, the field guide to fantastical world around you. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it is a great inspiration, right? Kathy, like, look at this one. Like this, even just like the one I would draw the hands. Oops, there we go. Oh, that one, the big one, long fingernail. <laughs> See that one? Yeah. Oh, look, there's another. Another. Oh, this one flips this way. Wow, look at that. Oh, I ripped it. It's a big, like, lizard. Can you see it there? That one flips up instead of sideways. <clears throat> and the potion bottles. <clears throat> there's another little dragon there. Oh, wow, they have a lot of flip outs in this book. I never even realized it. There's another one. Um, the bird. <clears throat> a little banshee. <laughs> oh, these are like uh, gargoyles. Do you ever paint? I've always wanted to paint a gargoyle, but never have. What a different gargoyle there. <laughs> No, there's that one. 
like a little monkey. <laughs> that one's cute. I love the wings. It's a black background. I think that's it for this book, I think. Yeah. <laughs> Look, and there's, I guess, somebody, I don't know who did that, or did their own little, their own little creatures. So that's that book. But now this one, Paula, if you want to watch Paula, she loves these books because they have pockets, secret pockets in and out. So this one is called The Chronicles of um, Spiderwick. It's the Grand Tour of Enchanted World Navigation. And so this got a little, it's like a little glass eye. I don't know if you can see it there. Yeah, a little glass eye and little footprints. <clears throat> and I'm going to say this also was under $10. Um, it wasn't expensive at all. But see, it's got all of these little pockets where it's got secret little things in here. So this one's got um, a letter. I guess it's a letter. Oh, it's a map. It's kind of like Harry Potter type thing. It's got a little map of the estate. <clears throat> so that's that. And then this one pulls out like this. You can see that there. And it's got this cute little note that goes on there like that. Can you see? Let me move this over there. You can see that. And there's this one. This one's got little doors go inside the house. It's just, I think that's the only thing. And this one. Creepy. Creepy little eyes. <laughs> Um, this one doesn't have any, no secret pockets in this one. This one, it's got this little pocket here. Oh, this is, this is so cute. To catch a sprite in Spiderwick, lure it with a cunning trick. Too late, the little sprite will spot, will spot uh, what is real and what is not. And so then this is a little 3D. Put this fairy. Oops. It actually comes together like that. So it's a little 3D, 3D little fairy. Can you see it? It's so cute. So it's got all these, and I haven't had a chance to read all this little story. But it's got this cute little, um, I love the stamp. Can you see the stamp on this one? I'll show you. Can you see the little stamp right there? It's sticking out. <laughs> the movie? There's a movie? I didn't know there was a movie, really. Um, so let's see. Any other things that pull out? Oh, I'll have to go check that out now. So here's another one. Let's see what's in here. Carriage House. Oh, I'm going Byron. Oh, it's a cute little, like, Discovery and Injuries. Cute little book. The name of this one? Okay. Oh, it's got a spider in there. Can you see that? <laughs> got a little spider in there. Oh, look at it. And that was stitched. It's actually a little stitch book. You see the stitching in there? The name of this one is The Chronicles of Spiderwick. Can you see that down there? Chronicles. You can see it's got that little glass. Uh, Thing there in the middle. There's that. And then, do we have anything else? Peering out? Nope. Dragon's Den, the Dragon Claw. It'll be fun. I haven't had a chance to read it yet, but oh, let's see what this is. Oh, there we go. This must, I wonder if it's had a cutout. But there you can see there's a, a hidden dragon. We push it up like that. It's just a little island, and then you put this, and there's a little creature down there. <laughs> oh, we got a troll. <laughs> ah. I love these little creatures here. And this one, they peer out. Got the little cage in there. One in there. One there. Chicken bones. 
And then I don't know if anything pops out. Oh yeah, this one got a little tiny, tiny envelope. And then inside here is a little leaf. A leaf and it's got a, a little message in there. Take care when sent an invitation to meet those on the 11th nation. <laughs> The bug book name, oh, I'll, yep, I'll show it to you. I'll show them all to you again. This one's got leaves, so they flip all out, three little leaves like that. And then there's another little, another little creature in here, this tiny little envelope. Netflix has, oh, the, oh I'll have to check it out. Oh, it's got a cute little butterfly, butterfly little wing. That's in there. There's that. This one's cute. The dog. Steampunk dog. See that? Anything else? And then the last page has got this big treasure chest. With another book. See it's stitched. Another little stitching there. Oh, it's got those cute little, little bugs in there. <laughs> So yeah, so it's really cute. There's so many of these books. I didn't realize that they have so many different ones. So there's this one again. It's this one with all the secret little pockets. Then there's, let me get the other ones. Hold on. And this is one that started it all. This one. So make sure you get this. It says uh, glow in the dark poster. That poster looks cute. Is that that one? Yeah, that's an awesome book, isn't it, Kathy? Oh my gosh, I really like that one. So I had no idea because it doesn't say in the description. That's the only thing with the eight books. They don't give you the size or really like the description of what's in there. So I was really excited when I got that. Then there's this one, Arthur. Speedwick's Field Guide to Fantastic World Around You. There's that one. And then this cute little notebook one, which I don't want to say was like a couple dollars, really. So, so that was all my goodies for today. So if you missed any in the beginning, I did do a little haul really quick. Um, but yeah, and so the next week we will do Jane's uh, new stamps that'll be coming. I'll have Look for them, and probably Saturday, I'm thinking I'll have them in the shop. So, and we'll play with the new glitter paper, the watercolor paper. Hopefully, her paints will be here. We'll play with that and her new stamps. So, and then the following week, we will do the Finnabar style little owl. So, thanks, CB. Mm -hmm. Well, thanks for hanging in there, you guys. So, have a great week, and then I shall see you on Sunday, next Sunday. So be safe, take care of yourselves, and I'll talk to you later. Bye. <laughs> and thanks, mods. I always forget to thank my mods. Always going to do that. <laughs> Bye, everyone. Have a great week.